inside the package or that is stored inside the namespace post but unfortunately it will be mistaken the reason is that it's not used this use keyword is not used to bring any sort of thing or it's not used to import any functionality it's just there to in a reference a certain namespace and it's there to shorten large namespace uh, class uh, class names that is used alongside with namespaces so this might be a really long name you can shorten this but because we are interested in bringing all the functionality and then we want to reference it we simply need to use the include once or include um, keyword along with the file or the script name that resides in the same directory directory and in the same relative path so now let's save this and this will hopefully not produce any sort of uh, errors now you see that this code is uh, successfully running on our browser it has exactly printed out what we wanted so in the first place we created a new namespace i think you can please, uh, clearly see this uh, we created a new namespace called template and we have stored um, a new class called category inside that package or inside that new template namespace in the second in the t perhaps in the third line of code we have brought in all the functionality of the post output class or perhaps all the functionality of the posts.php class that resides in the same relative path and in the same directory if it had been re residing in the in a different directory or it uh, had it was residing one directory upward then you would have to use um, uh, you'd have to reference or you'd have to import uh, in that manner um, you would have to use uh, relative parts like this um, to uh, if it had been one directory upward so you'd have to use something like this so because it's in the same directory and it's in the same rel relative path we're not going to reference it in, in uh, we're not going to reference it in reference it in any other way now we have brought all the functionality from posts.php and in the fourth line of code we are telling the compiler that we are interested in all the uh, we're interested in all this functionality we want to use all those functionality from this post output class that is residing in the posts namespace so we haven't declared or we haven't defined any sort of uh, functionality inside our new category class but we'll be doing that later on now in the eighth line of code this is the most important line along with this third and fourth uh, lines in this line what we see is that we don't need to use the post namespace name uh, like this anymore. We have already told the compiler that we are interested in the posts namespace because this property, this static property, uh, this post property is a static. It's a. It's an. It's. It has a static nature. We need to directly call this property using the scope resolution operator, and we need to use the class name directly. We need to use the class name post output directly we can we don't need the process of instantiation that we have seen earlier i hope you remember uh when we discussed about the two methods of creating an object the first method was to instantiate using the new operator we created a variable uh, we assigned the const we passed in some value to the constructor and we called the classes constructor with the new operator and our variable in terms became the new object but in statically declared properties and methods we don't need to cre uh, create any sort of objects uh, we, we don't need to create any sort of variables sorry using the new keyword we don't we can directly call the property using the class name
So I have done exactly the same thing. I've called the class name. I've used the uh, class name directly, and I've assigned a new string value inside this post property. And I have told the uh, compiler to use the printf function to print those values out on my browser. So you can clearly see that it is producing the result successfully. Now you might be wondering, why did I? actually comment all these three lines of code out why did you do that now let's see the output if I uncomment this so what will happen is that because we have used this include once statement um, that says to bring everything from the post uh, post.php script it will print out all the previous values to you now let's see this let's save this let's save everything and let's refresh our page and now you can clearly see that just because we are using uh, the include ones inside our namespace scope does not necessarily mean it will change its nature it will function in the same similar way it will function identically as it had done before when we used the include ones statement um, in procedural programming when we didn't create any sort of classes we just used functions we used loops or variables I hope you, you, rem you remember those if you are if you have some fundamental idea about the procedural programming part of PHP now in this case what we see is that it brings in the previous value it brings in the uh, it it brings we in the previous uh, part or in the post.php script we assigned the blog post to this posts um, post static property so it prints that out and then uh, we called in or we invoked the container method the static container method from the post output class so this method is producing the default value of post output include once when we include this once inside our new script and then again we try to assign a new value and produce that on our browser it does the same thing it exactly does the same thing it produces the previous values and it produces the new value alongside now what is it is doing include once is actually importing every single line of this code so it's bringing this uh, namespace property to this last uh, the to the 17th line of code into our script it's it's another way of writing all this code inside a single uh, inside a single script we are as if right uh, we are as if writing all those we are all uh, writing all those things all those lines of code inside this category that PHP input once exactly does the same thing it brings in all those lines of code and because it brings in all those lines of code it prints out the previous values and because at the end we assign a new value it erases the previous ones and it assigns the new value and it then prints out the new value on our browser so that's what the uh, that's the reason behind commenting out all those lines of code so let's keep the commented out and let's save this so that was all about this namespace now I need to show you how to use the aliasing or the shortening type so if I try to use this aliasing process I need to in, uh, include the ask keyword followed by a new namespace suppose I assign the new name of post so let's save this and I need to uh, uh, so I need to use uh, if I try to use this entire name later on, I need to ref. I need to use that post name, post uh, name that I've created uh, already. So what this really means is that 